So what grade are you in? Second. Tenth grade? First grade. I was in eighth grade when I learned to program. I got my first computer when I was in sixth grade. What gets me excited is being able to fix people's problems. You can express yourself. You can build things from an idea. Computer science is the basis for a lot of the things that college students and professionals will do for the next 20 or 30 years. I like programming because I like helping people. I get the opportunity to build something that's going to make people's life easier. I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. Getting started is the most important part. I'm a beginner myself and I want you to learn with me. Do you have a favorite video game that you've always wanted to make? Well, we're going to get started creating games just like using PlayLab. You see, good games have a story, and every story has actors. Actors that do things like speak, move, interact with each other, maybe even score points based on the rules of that game. Today, we'll be learning how to do all of these things one by one with fun actors like witches, zombies, aliens, and animals, and then build a game from scratch that can be shared and played on a phone. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is the game space where your program will run. The instructions for each level are written below. This middle area is the toolbox, and each of these blocks is a piece of code. The white space on the right is called the workspace, and this is where we'll build our program. To start off, you'll need to link your blocks to the orange when run block. Then you can link multiple blocks together by dragging them out until you see the yellow line, and then they'll snap together. In this first puzzle, our actor is a penguin and we'll be making it say, hello, by dragging the say block out, linking it to the when run block, and typing in hello. We can also make the penguin move by using the move right and move left blocks. Once you have your blocks in place, hit the run button to see what you've programmed. Get started, and by the end, you'll be able to create your own game with all kinds of players that can interact, turn happy or sad, score points and throw fireballs, and even vanish each other. It's all up to you and the game you want to make.